came out, though, you're going to see Detach and Enable can make this play. Bomb is going to go down. They're going to get real close to Enable. Not going to be able to pick it up, but Attach picks up two quick kills, Chris. We talked about the Donut. Donut no more. Two straight kills, but he needs a third. Karma the last man standing. Karma, of course, clutching up the 1v1 to get here. It was round 11 versus Panda. This time, Attach is going to poke him in the back. Plenty of time to get the defuse. Uh, he, he didn't shoot at him for the first second. Like, Does he see him? Attach picks it up, though. Comes up huge in a big round. Looking to be the player to score as he's got three lead blockers. Attach picks up one. There's the second. And now this drone pushes up after a third straight kill from Attach. Yeah, and it looks like it was actually a one-point throw attempt that does not go in. Attach still picking up some kills on a six streak. Make it seven. It's going to be a two of one-point play going in there for FaZe Clan. Attach is rolling. Go, baby, go. That was Enable who jumped the ball up, and it fell in for just a one-pointer. No dunk this time, but still a 2-0 lead with two minutes to go in your first half. And Attach is on a nine streak, 14-5. and five. He's fully streaked out. He just took this game over. Can he keep Horizon it rolling? Nation, right? We talked about Pacento playing well in that first hard point. Aqua goes on a streak, helps him secure that first win. Kind of the roles reverse here. Aqua playing well. If Vicento comes alive, maybe they come back and take this one. Attach with the scare picked up two. Two with his gun as well. So another streak for Attach. He is now in the positive, sitting at 11 and, and eight. Here will come the push. Score streaks being called in. Clayster going to be able to take out Vicento. Enable takes out Felony. Attach looking for the last remaining two. Yeah, it's a smart play there by Attach. When the streak comes in, players are either going to be forced into observation deck or back towards him. Nobody comes towards him. Clay gets one on the hill, but like I said, there come the streaks from Aqua. It's going to force players off of the hill for FaZe Clan. So uh, this game, Bridge Hardpoint weren't getting a lot of things done. They win some gunfights on the rotation. They slow some things down, but Karma picking up one kill here as one more player behind him going to win that gunfight as well. You see he's working his way towards streaks, working his way towards the abilities. One more kill for Karma inside the hard point. <laughs> Caught there, and you do see the Optic Gaming team on the rotation. He's going to get taken out. So big kills there from Gunless and Silly able to hold this down. They do a good job holding either side of the street. Inside, though, it's Karma with two big ones. The two-time champ breaks in. And all right, so look, it was uh, Optic to rotate early to Grave. Gets broke almost immediately. It's then United that rotates early to Broken set up, and it gets broke immediately by the other side. No one seems to be able to hold any kind of control for very long here. Yeah, I mean, it's good plays by both teams. It just does not work out in their favor. You see one player coming across the bridge on the minimap right here to challenge Karma. He's able to win that as well. Currently on a four streak, Karma has actually played really big in the respawn game modes in the last two series from Optic I've seen. And he didn't have the best Friday and Saturday, some off games, but today he's been lights out as he continues to go. There's the six, 25 off the bombardment. Damon Barlow looking to get set up here with full streaks, and there's a little Humpty Dumpty. The bags are out. As you see, it's going to be United going to that hotel hallway. Team, when he gets going, they're going to be very difficult to beat because you know at least formal and Scump are going to play well. Formal starting to come back a little bit, having a really slow start to this game. But the snapper, Mar man. Oh, the snapper! Oh. Eight in a row. Fully streaked out. 15 and six is Karma as he is manhandling E United. And, and you looked at this team coming in, you know, Optic Gaming. You know, where could you take advantage of them? Karma has some off games playing in this role. You know, in Optic Gaming where he just does not have the luxury of being a top flight player. Not happening right now. Nine in a row for Karma. He can do no wrong. And now doubling up their opponents. Turning, burning. Get out of my house. Pristini now gone. This is insane. This is vintage karma. And we have not seen this karma in a very long time. It's good to see him perform well on the main stage. And now you can start to hear the fans. The let's go off the chance coming in as Karma is oh, still shit. on Formal being a thorn in the side as well. Gets the drone back in his hand. Pops the overdrive ability. Should be a clean dunk for him. Gets it. Formal gets the two-piece. Pops the payload and gets the dunk. Keeping off the gaming with a secure lead in this one. Only 50 seconds left. And I feel like that might be the nail in the coffin. Karma with two of his own as well. Dropping that drone again. All they need to do is keep the drone in their possession. And it should be all they need to do. So oh, back oh, and gets oh, the oh, beat down as well. It will be scump on your screens for this round 11. A player who, oh, oh down Formal with the trade. Formal. Three versus three. This one going down to the wire. And again, the quick kills coming through. Karma pops one, can't find the second though. It's gonna be down to Karma actually in a one versus one. Fastballer versus Karma. Your tournament life on the line. Can Panda clutch up Fastballer currently sitting at 10 and six. Karma eight and eight, a two time world champion. Can he clutch up here for the green wall? He used camo too. So even odds at these two players, the bomb has to be worried about as well. So. A little bit of a it's favorite looking, situation for fastball here. Like Karma might be a little... Time ticking. Wow. 
Both but players, my goodness. Both players playing this so well. Fast bowler, as I said, sitting at 10 and 6. Karma at 8 and 8. 35 seconds remaining here in this round 11. Losers round 5 matchup. And you can just see, looking at that top left minimap where both our two players are located. Karma picks up the bomb. He gets the bomb down. Now it's on fastballer. He has to make the move. He has to find Karma very, very quickly. He wants to have time to defuse it. And fastballer, which is desperately hard, trying to hunt down Karma in these situations. And there wow. he is. The kill comes through. Karma, your two-time attempt. <laughs> Five to two. Up. Panda one round away. Oh, and Formal's letting him know that was a choke. One Get round away stage. from the top six. I, I, I. That top rank, it gives him a little bit more space on the map, a little bit more freedom to show his strengths. Well, he's definitely he showing him here as Formal he still trying to make plays happen, but the sniper, he's right now at four no three. He's already one pick this round. It's taken up by the cluster grenade. And where did Oh my god! Formal! Hit back to back shots and maybe the momentum push that Optic Gaming need to come back in this series. That is just duh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, uh, this should be obvious, but if Panda comes in and wins every single match, they would be taking first in the pool, which if they beat Optic, you gotta think it's possible. Most definitely. Formal starting off a bit hot with that sniper. Oh, gets the first the one kid. on the fastball again. Tries to take his time with the second, trying to find the. He gets the second with the Oni pistol right there. Helps out his teammate. Can he get the third? The eighth. No! Again. That's a pistol. He, he can't, he I don't know if he got one? the last kill, but it looked like he did. So that'd be six total if he picked up the last one. Nah, no, scum stole. All right. Well, Formal was on another level in the hard point. You saw. I mean, I know at one point we looked at. You have a little bit of a comfortable lead right now, but. You never know when the players from the side of Elevate. That's one of the things with the payloads in uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. The longer you let the game drag out, the more the players are going to get that one. We saw Watson ready to burn his active camo. Reedy's getting very close to his overdrive as well, but you see three payloads ready to go for the guys on Optic Gaming. The firefight is going to be coming in. Formal's going to be able to take out one. Reedy wow. immediately trades that one up, and then Formal is able to pick up another kill. Is Formal going to get the ace in this one? No, he is not going to be able to get that, but picks up a huge three kills for Optic Gaming on that B site. Six to three, Optic Gaming ties up the series with Elevate 1-1. One, one. Is he coming using action where you can use this camo? and maybe get through the dunk. Look at uh, Silly on the bottom side of your mini-map, coming down towards that mid-street. He's going to have the advantage here. This is a big kill. He's get able to, to get one. Get it to Gunless. He's got it in his hands now. He's going to have the cam camo to work with. Can he make the play? Let's hop up to him. The camo has been popped. Looking for the angle. Half left. He wants the dunk. It goes forth. 30 seconds left, and Gunless gets through. <laughs> and he gets three kills <laughs> right after. E United going to have drone control as well. They're going to take it top side. And they need to stay composed yeah, here. Maybe. Gunless does get his camo. Can he make a clutch play here in a two versus I, I, I consider using it here just because the momentum is in FaZe's favor. You need to make a play. You need to take this round. Now you definitely don't, I think. You know, once that first player drops, but he's going to do it. Here it is. He can catch one. There's 15 seconds left. He sees one. He's got oh! the oh! Gunless! Oh! Woo! What a round. Remember when I said don't use the camo? Yeah. <laughs> right as you say it, he pops it and goes. 1v3 there for Gunless. Does it look Possibly like the end this one? Karma's gonna get hit with the jammer grenade. Nothing really gonna come of that one. Let's see what Panda Gaming's doing there. They want the blood. They want to fight off the gaming gun to gun. And they're gonna be able to get some trades there. Formal takes out Profizian and Prompt and takes out Karma. Krim6 is gonna be able to find one for himself now. A two versus two situation. Scum gonna be able to come out top. Does have the reactor bar as well. Gonna utilize it. Optic Gaming gonna get their fourth round on the board, making things. And it's Krim6 this time around who's gonna be waiting for any potential push from the guys on Splice. I do like that. Look at Scum just fly up there. <laughs> I do like that position on the flank though. But now it opens things up for Krim to try and make a play. And Scum has now found two working on the ace. Madcat is able to find one. Tag up another there with the end before the assist does come through. Scum's still alive. Let's see if he can close things out. But Madcat on the hunt here in Hotel. Scump with his third. Let's ace. see. Does Scump get the ace? As time continues to tick down, Bants by himself. Pushing on up towards the top side. Scump sees him. It's the ace. Oh, look at that smile. That's a good, yeah, that's a feel good round when you're picking up all four. Right yeah, you get it. And he's realizing Optic Gaming are here. It's somehow two kills for FaZe. Krim answers with one of his own. Optic Gaming in the two versus three. They're going to back on up. Karma will challenge. Two versus two. There's one player just on the other side. Krim6 gets the kill as well. It's a 1v2. Clayster by himself. He's pinned in the corner. One on one. Karma 
gets the kill, and look at Skump in the camera's face. Optic Gaming, no, the shot call works out. Woo -hoo -hoo. This rivalry makes me happy to beat American. Oh God, that poor cameraman, he just doesn't deserve it, man. Skump is getting hyped. Do we have a wipe for that lens? I think he spit on it a little bit, or is that me?